And then will road memory be able to gather higher maps eventually as your customers um, use LIDAR on their vehicles? Right. So we, we have anticipated uh, including LIDAR-based data as well in road memory. Uh, and and that's that brings us closer to what we do with uh, our HDR product, which is a you know, a, a very accurate LiDAR based mapping solution. The thing I love about you personally and, and DeepMap as a whole, you're always innovating. You're always striving to build the best product. You're looking at all the various use cases to build the most accurate, beneficial product. And you've got this incredible insight into the market. Individuals that know you, you've got like this incredible mind when it comes to mapping. and. On uh, May 28th in Crunchbase, you wrote an article with your co-founder, uh, James Wu, really interesting about mapping and machines. And there was this thing that stood out to me. You said the era we are entering now promises to be the most exciting and transformative. Why? And I want to know, I want to pull back to there for a minute because you're seeing something. What, what are you seeing when you, when you made that statement? We're, we're seeing a lot of trends in technology all kind of converging to the vision that we had when we started the company. Uh, we, we believe LIDAR was gonna play an important role. That's happening left and right. All, all these LIDAR companies are uh, gaining lot, lots of traction. Uh, the, the capabilities of the LIDARs have improved. The prices have come down. Uh, and then, you know, that's not even to mention all the things happening on the compute side and deep learning and all of these technologies. Uh, and then on the mapping side, we've made a ton of progress towards our, our uh, vision of building a, a map engine that can support data from all kinds of different cars. Road memory is just another instance of that. Maybe the, the cars have perhaps a lower sensor capability, but we're able to make quality uh, accurate maps out of that data as well. And it actually all fits together in our, in our mind to allow us to offer what we think of as a future-proof map. Uh, one where we can, you know, you know in, even in the short run, maintain some uh, significant amount of mileage at, at an HDR quality level and then supplement it with, supplement that map with data from this L2 plus fleet to get wider coverage, the quality level may not be quite as high as the HDR level, but it still is, is high enough quality to enable this L2 plus uh, advanced capabilities. So you and over time, over time, we see more and more advanced sensors uh, rolling off the, the uh, production lines in cars that will enable more and more higher quality uh, road, road coverage. And our, our belief is that any vendor that goes with this solution will essentially be able, their cars will be able to take advantage of the improvements in the map over time. 